Hi guys, James Mason here. Today in this video you're going to see uh, an opening being created in the middle of this brick wall. So we're going to brick up part of this door opening. We're going to put a concrete lintel in above, 2.7 long, so that we can create a 2.4 opening. Then we're going to remove some of that brickwork from below, and then we're going to render around the edges just to finish it off. So starting straight away, we're getting into it, we're putting all the floor coverings down just to make sure that we protect the floor. We're going to be doing some demo saw uh, cuts in the brickwork so we don't want that water and splash everything to get onto the carpet. So we'll cover everything up first and then we get stuck into marking it out, pulling the skirting boards off and um, basically doing the build. Alright guys, hope you enjoy the video. So once it's marked out and you know where the height of the lintel is going to be, what we then do is take out a brick above the top of that. So we mark out two bricks and we space that evenly and then we actually put needles through. Once the needles are through, then we can actually go through and take out a course of bricks where the lintel is going to sit. We do that by basically using an old handsaw or even a grinder to grind out the old mortar joints. We're pretty lucky because here it's the old lime mortar so it's quite soft so it makes it easy to get out. But you do need to be careful that you don't go bashing too hard in this first course because it's quite delicate until you actually get that lintel in. Okay, so here we are with this wall removal. Now the big secret is getting these needles in through the wall first. So the reason we put those through was to take the weight of the wall above. So by putting those timbers and the props either side of the wall, wind it up, it takes the load off, and then you can actually start taking some of the bricks out from below. I don't like to take too many bricks out until we actually get the concrete lintel up there. So we've slid that up into place. And what you'll see now is we've got these wedges basically just under each brick, just anywhere where it's not supported, just to take the weight above. And we've got a temporary prop on this side. What we're going to do after lunch is continue through here and pull down all this brickwork. And then once all this brickwork is down, then I'm going to come back, put another prop here in the corner, take these wedges out and wind it right up so that it's really tight up underneath the brick, bottom of the brickwork. Then all we're left to do really is brick in this corner here under the lintel and then it should be load bearing. Okay, now that our beam's up and it's all bricked up and supported and propped, next stage is to start with the rendering. So what we're going to do is put these plastic angles around all the corners and that'll uh, give us something to render to to give it a nice corner. So basically what I start with is by cutting these angles, just give them a little 45 degree cut. And then the way this works is that these angles, these angles will just sit in here, we'll put one on each side across the head and then back down the other side. We'll render these in with a little bit of cement render 
and then we can come back and finish it off and give us a nice neat finish. Okay, so we're going to stick the, the head um, angle up. Yesterday we were able to nail the side angles on in through the mortar joints, so that's what holds it in place. But because we've got the concrete lintel up above, there's nothing really to hold this angle on. So what I do is I use the Trimtex uh, plastic spray, spray this on the bottom, and then we can just hold it up and stick it to the bottom of the lintel. Once that goes off, then we can set the angle in. Okay, now they're on. I'm going to set them with a little bit of corner cement just to hold it in position at the bottom and then I'll come back over with the top coat. I'm going to finish the top of that with a little bit of render, bring the cement render down and match it in. So it's going to be a little bit of a mix between cement render and corner cement holding these angles in place. Okay guys, a couple of key considerations when doing a little project like this is number one, always put down uh, protection. A bit of plastic over the floor and walls goes a long way to prevent any staining and damage. Always say prevention is better than cure. Number two, always consult with an engineer to see what size beam you're going to need for the opening and what's the best construction method. You can range from brick or terracotta lintels through to concrete, through to steel beams. It really depends on the span and the load that it's taking above. Number three, make sure you do, do some good propping in the uh, wall before you actually pull it out from underneath. You need to support the brickwork or the timber framing if it's load bearing, or even if it's non-load bearing. You need to support what's above the wall prior to then knocking it out. All right, so a couple of quick tips. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, like or subscribe, give it a thumbs up, and uh, we'll catch you next time. Cheers, guys. See you in the next project.